How's it going guys? It's Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage and today I'm going to show you how to open a BMW E36 with a stuck or broken hood latch. Okay guys, so we're at this 318 E36. This is a 1997 or 8, I can't remember. 8 I think. Uh, it doesn't have a broken hood latch, but I'm going to show you what to do in case it does. This is a pretty common question I get. I did it on E39 a while back. Um, if you're interested in watching the E39 video, click on the link at the top. So we have a couple different scenarios. Let's go and open this hood up. And like I said, this one is not broken. I'm just going to show you. Uh, a couple different options here where they break. Uh, E39 has a little box up here it pulls out of. E36 does not have that. So either something's going to happen with one of the latches here or here, or something's going to happen with the cable. It's a lot more likely this cable is going to get froze up going between the two latches or this cable is going to get froze up going into the inside of the car now before we get too crazy with it if your cable breaks off the latch right so if it's broken up here if that just pulls off and your latch is floppy go ahead and pull this little panel this kick panel out pretty easy to get out uh, you may not even have to do that what are you going to want to do you're going to pull it with needle nose pliers pull the cable and it'll pop the hood once the hood's open, then you can replace the, the broken cable real easily. So, if that's not what your problem is, uh, let's give another instance, which is the most common, that something happens with this cable up in here. And you need to get the hood open to be able to, to replace the cable, right? But you can't do that. So let's give you a scenario. Go and close the hood. We'll set it down there. Uh, a lot of guys have pretty odd ideas about trying to take the grill out and take the torx bits out and take the latch off that and that's your unless you have a lot of time on your hands that doesn't really work so what I like to do to start off with you can't take the headlight out without getting the hood open right we all know this taking the bumper off doesn't do anything either even though you can take the bumper off without taking the headlight out so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna use a straight screwdriver or a little pry bar and what we're going to do, we're going to get it behind this light. Now, there's two different ways you could do this. You don't want to pry only on the L lens. That's going to pop the lens off. You want to go in here like this and get behind and actually get up here on the white plastic behind it. And let's see if I'll refocus here. You're going to get in here like this and you're going to pop ever so gently don't do it very hard you'll break it ever so gently it takes almost no effort you're gonna pop that out and once you pop that out you can lay it off to the side and then I'll open the hood just to show you you can get your hand up in here see and you can pull on the cable and open the latch so let's say that's not the case and your latch is broken either up here at the latch itself or something happened to the cable where the passenger side won't release. So if that's the case, I'm not gonna physically do it because I don't wanna break these grills. These grills are in there nice and tight, which is pretty rare. And it's not saying you're gonna break your grills trying to pull them out, but that could be the case. And you may not have to do that. I'm gonna show you a couple ways how. And the first way is, basically what you're gonna wanna do, there's a cable that runs and goes across from latch to latch, right? It's only about two foot long. You could actually see the cable up in there. One thing you could do before you even take the grill out, you get a pair of needle nose, a long needle nose. You could also use a bar with a hook on it, maybe even a coat hanger. You're gonna go up in here, you could actually grab that cable, and you could pull on it, and that's gonna release that latch over there, and it'll even release this one, I believe. Yeah, I'll do the driver's side too. So even if you're broke, on this side out the latch you still have some of a chance of pulling the center cable to release it now let's give the third option let's say that doesn't work and this driver's side latch is still stuck but if you follow these steps you start with the easiest inside the car you work your way out here to the corner light and then you go into the grill at last resort you don't want to break these grills they're not that expensive but the problem is you get aftermarket grill it's wanting to fall out you might bend the tabs on the actual grill holder or the filler panel and it goes downhill from there so exhaust all the option guys and before you take the grill out 
and hopefully this helps you guys out uh, if so uh, give the video a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you think thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow